Hi, this is Jacob with PCTechGuide.com and today we're going to be taking a look at Registry Booster 2012. Let's go ahead and just dive right into the review. Uniblue is the makers of Registry Booster 2012. Uniblue is a gold certified Microsoft partner. Uh, they all have put, they put out really good products all around. I, I do like their product SKUs and uh, Driver Scanner is one of the top driving driver update programs I recommend. I also do like the Speed Up My PC and you can get all three of these including the Registry Booster in what is called the Power Suit which uh, if you're thinking of considering buying Registry Booster 2012 I would take a close look at that oftentimes for just a few bucks more you can get so much more of the software because as you combine it and really just drop that price down. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into some of the settings that, 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 that Registry Booster 2012 does have. Under the Settings button under General Settings you're going to be able to select your language, and I believe there's 18 or 19 different languages to choose from. Very simple interface to use. It does have the scan settings. And if we look at this right here, uh, launch registry booster when Windows starts. If you want that to the, the program to automatically load up when your computer boots, great. If not, just uncheck it. Uh, start scan automatically when registry booster is launched. So when you open up registry booster, do you want to scan right away for you? And these are just uh, uh, simple settings that y you can set it just to make your life easier. And I really like the the scheduled one. You don't really have to choose specific dates. All you have to do is say daily, weekly, every other week, or monthly to do a scan. And I would recommend most people actually stick with the bi-weekly one. Uh, and that way it's going to do it every other week for you and that seems to work out pretty good for me they have a proxy settings most people won't use this but it's nice to be there just in case you want to get updates for your program via a proxy and then system information is going to be your system information that shows here uh, it did not pick up my total uh, physical memory which is I think 12 gigs on this system that I'm currently testing it on but uh, it, it may be over its limit I don't know why it didn't pick it up and that is the actual only one little issue I've seen but that will not affect the overall performance of the software program itself now the restore tab is really nice and we're going to see that I have no registry backups here currently and that's because in this instance I have not uh, had registry booster installed on this particular PC I wanted to do a fresh scan for you just so you can see the results otherwise is what it will do is once the scan is done and you actually do the repair it will be saved right here so you can actually roll back to undo any repairs that you've done and that's really really nice Uniblue makes it the registry booster 2012 makes it very very easy to undo anything you do to the registry which is a great feature to have it's automatic and every registry cleaner should have it unfortunately not everyone does and right here under the registry scan settings you just have a few simple things to, do, to, to go through and you don't even have to all you really have to do is just hit the start scan button it's going to scan for you and fix everything and how easy this program to use is really really nice if you do not understand computers at all you just go over to the overview hit the start scan button and basically it'll scan for you and everything will be checked in checked automatically for you without you having to go in and do anything otherwise if you're more of an expert and you want to gather in say no I just want to focus on users from just this computer only uh, you have the option to do so under the registry scan settings for the uh, last scan results I'll show you the last scans re results and the error as well as the damage level which we have nothing yet uh, the ignore list in case you ignore specific entries and this is more for uh, experts in general or people who, who computer technicians who are diagnosing problems and the like uh, this is where where they would actually take a look at uh, as far as the, uh, the really nice tool that I like is the registry defrag and I do recommend people take a look at it and basically is what it's going to do is it's going to defrag the Windows registry basically make it more compact for you and overall that can speed up your PC it, not necessarily a whole lot but hey every little bit counts right so let me go ahead and jump in I'm just going to go to the main page right here and I'm just going to go ahead and run a scan for us real quick everything selected it's going to go ahead and scan through it and I'll pause it here and I'll time it right now it's 243 we'll just verify that into the system clock right there and basically it took about two and a half minutes to run at uh, times now 245 so yeah right about two and a half minutes for us to run through this and in total it found a total of 494 errors so we're just going to go ahead and browse through I'm going to go through the user related errors first just to see hey here's some invalid shortcuts uh, user software settings which 
355 sounds about right to me on this computer just because I recently did quite a bit of software changes so yours may not be as high yours may be a little bit lower and and uh, so that's about right for mine we're going to go ahead and dive into let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, system related errors now and coming in here we're going to have the uh, application file pass and basically just a quick breakdown of of everything it found in relation to your registry and errors in the registry and at this point in time all you have to do is click fix errors or if you wanted to dive further into it you can go under detailed view and it'll actually tell you the uh, the file paths and you can actually take a look at all this now I don't expect many uh, non-technical people to actually analyze their log and look at it and that's that's the nice thing about registry boosters you don't have to it's very very simple all you have to do is hit the fix errors button all you have to do is hit the scan button to start it, fix errors button, it's automatically going to go back up, it's automatically going to fix up the errors, back up your registry, repair the registry, and then you'll be good to go. So now that that scan is done, I'm just going to go ahead and run the scan one more time. Oh, continue scanning. And the purpose of me running that uh, second scan is just to see what else it can pick up a second time around. You'll find with a lot of subpar registry cleaners out there, what will happen is, yeah, it'll find 10,000 errors the first time around. The second time it finds another 5,000, then 6,000. And really, you just can't trust those type of, of cleaners that consistently find errors even after you just did the cleaning. That tells you, A, it's not cleaning it out or, or something is going wrong with with the software in general and with registry booster I don't have that problem now it did find two more errors but out of the what the three or four four hundred and fifty eight or something like that errors that were before that's nothing I, nothing to be concerned about and chances are I think those files might just be locked so so it cannot uh, change it and uh, in conclusion here registry booster 2012 on any expert uh, in, in computer repair person who reviews registry cleaners this uh, Registry Booster 2012 will be in, in their top five pick. It is one of the best register cleaners on the market. For me personally, usually it ranks in between number one and number two uh, on, on any, any time I've reviewed this product. So it's a very solid product. You can't go wrong using this Registry Booster 2012 as your registry cleaner. And I should mention that the free trial of Registry Booster 2012, just like with all software programs that offer free trials, it's a limited free trial. So what it'll do is you'll be able to actually use the interface, play around with it, run the scan, and see how many system errors you have. You will not be able to clean the registry with the free trial. You would have to make a purchase for it to actually remove and do the repair for you. And if you do end up making a purchase of Registry Booster 2012, I would strongly advise you take a look at the power suit because it's going to have that driver scanner program in there. And it's also going to have the Speed Up My PC program. And when you combine all three of these products, it really does help to fine tune your computer and keep things running smooth. That's all we have for this review. Be sure to leave your comments for us. And if you like the product, you didn't like the product, just write your reviews and your comments below for us. And, and that just, in general, will help everybody out. Take care.